Well, the sheep are coming out. The dogs came to meet me running. You can see they're kind of crusted up with ice. And the sheep are all coming trotting out of the woods. I don't know where the cattle are, but they'll come out soon enough. But uh, what a miserable day. It was uh, like 40. Oh, there come the cattle. Let's see if you can see them. Yeah. It was like 40 uh, on Monday and then 40 on Tuesday, but on Tuesday it rained nonstop all day. And then right at about 8 or 9 p.m. it plunged down to about 20 and was sleeting and snowing. And then now it's like 10. <laughs> so this is this is the kind of weather I worry about more than just dry cold or you know heat. Is this kind of cold and wet is very, very tough on the animals. So more than any other circumstance i will be overfeeding them in this in this situation uh, but they i mean they all look alert i don't see anybody gimping or limping or you know looking low energy so that's a good sign the dogs came through it all right see the two over there bob and puppers and sheps i guess licking the four-wheeler found something she likes on it you can see her cut is healing up it's all pink now or her bite it wasn't a cut and so I'm, I don't know, hopefully that purple will come off soon. But all right, let's give some water, feed some hay. Uh, I'm so slow on getting the camera up. The two puppers and Bob all of a sudden went ripping over to that fence line right there. And you know what was trotting out there? A little freaking terrier dog. I hate that people are so negligent with their pets or they abandon them out here or whatever. Cause that dog caught a shock on my sorry I have hay in my mouth caught a shock on my uh, fence right out there you know and there, this is a busy highway right here and then I he, he probably pissed his pants because he had two 80 pound dogs ripping after him snarling and I luckily I yelled at him so they stopped but it's amazing to me I have more trouble with abandoned pets out here than I do with coyotes I mean I, I just don't even know what to do uh, it, you know whatever I mean but you can see we gave them lots of hay sorry about the wind it's nasty out today uh, it's gonna plunge down to negative 10 tomorrow so we're having a 50 degree swing across a day or two which is not what you want but there's my my beef cow, 14. Look at all these. They're a good looking bunch. They're weathering the, the 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 ups and downs pretty well, but I'm not. I'm I'm cold and I'm I only got one cup of coffee, so I'm grumpy as hell. Anyway, I'm gonna go inside. They got lots to eat here. Uh, they can burn as many calories as they need to to stay warm. Uh, this is a continual, continuing look on um, how these January chicks for our increased egg layer flock are doing. You can see they're starting to feather out a little bit. <clears throat> and I just made them a ring out of cardboard boxes. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about it. So we've had, none of them have died. Um, but it is, I don't think this is something I'll do again. What I need to do is just be diligent in my management as far as getting the rotation set on the proper timing. Meaning, don't don't cull out an old set of chickens without a new one, without a new set waiting to go behind them. So, but so far it's it's really gone well. They're um, they're growing quickly. They're getting very curious, and they're um, they're feathering out here. And this is a mix of some like black feathered hybrid layers. Um, I forget, there's like four because you know in January the hatchery doesn't have a ton of um, chicks hatching so I just kind of took a, a big bunch of whatever they had to, to get to, you know, a, a, there's, a, there's a certain critical mass of chicks that they, they need to stay warm together in this weather so 25 was the number, and that's that's what we got here. So it's all going well, but again, 
I don't think it's something I'll repeat. I just want to give a brief update as uh, we got through some pretty gnarly weather. Um, so the animals came through it and I'm gonna see if I can kind of show you. They have uh, like crunchy fur. Like th their fur on the outside is crunchy because it got wet and then froze, which is a good thing because that means that they're holding their heat on the inside. Uh, look, Bob keeps trying to take this hay string out of my pocket. Stop it, dude. Um, so they're all weathering through it pretty well. And I just really came out to check on them today because I gave them a day's worth of hay instead of the normal half and half. Hey, bud. This is the Katahdin ram. That's the backup ram. He's pretty nice. Um, hang on a second. Now, don't don't butt me, dude. He thinks he's tough. Yeah, <laughs> just give him a little kick in the butt. <laughs> um, so I just came out to check on how everyone was doing. Um, one of the nice things I know people were concerned that she was tied up. No, I on the couple of dogs that did a runner a, a while, I've been having them on a drag, which is just like a tire to slow them down a little so that they can bump hot wire instead of running right through it and blowing right through it. And she's been pretty happy since um, since we, we got her back off the drag. And so, so far, so good. She's been staying in. So we're going to continue to rebuild trust with her. And as I've come up and over that hill every morning, it's been nice to see her laying down in the middle of the sheep. So she's looking pretty well bonded. You know, and I've had some speed bumps with these dogs, which I guess is to be expected. But overall, they've done a really good job. Um, and, and, and it, dude, look at this. He's got this hay string in his mouth. Give me that back. Come on, that's not for you. He keeps teasing it out of my pocket. Um, anyway, so this uh, shorthorn's been, I would call it, integrating slowly but steadily. Um, meaning he kind of follows the black cattle around, but he's kind of getting bumped around a little bit by that big steer because um, he's uh, just the smallest and uh, he's new, so I think it'll just take a little time. I don't think that other little calf gets bumped around so much because of the they've had you know they've been together since last June, and then also she's starting to get horns and her mom's right there and that that that's a pretty good mom. But yeah, that short horn calf is doing pretty good. He's just got to slowly get in, integrated into the bunch. And these, I gotta stop the video because these dogs keep trying to eat hay string. Hang on. I, I need to continue working on the livestock trailer to put the new floor into it, but, but by and large, um, I'm just chipping away at little chores um, and just trying to get everyone through this last run of weather. Uh, that has been particularly bad. You know, we're, we got all the way up to, see that? I think that uh, calf is gonna get weaned. She's trying to nurse and the mom's just walking away. <laughs> There's nothing there for you, girl. See how the mom's getting a little kicky too? Finally she's starting to wean that calf up properly. Yeah. It's only gonna take a couple of kicks and that calf should be off. Well, anyhow, I'm gonna get a move on and uh, get back to working on the floor in that trailer. All right.